Welcome back to Vine Sadas. I'm Stubby Dubs. Today we have a little bit of a different episode. Instead of doing our normal woodworking news, wisecracks, tips and tricks and all that good stuff, we have some big announcements about what's been going on here um, in the last several months and what's coming up in the very new future, including a new book, a new magazine, and a new tool giveaway. So you're going to want to stick around to the end. It's only a few minutes. Believe me, it's going to be worth it. Last year has been the busiest of my life by far. The first eight months were spent preparing for the last two months, and then everything just came to a head all at once, starting with a Woodworking in America conference in Kansas City this past September. As most of you know, I had the huge privilege of being one of the invited speakers on a list that included way bigger names than me, some of the biggest names in our craft. That meant teaching a two-hour class, and it was amazing. It was standing room only in there, and that was very humbling for me because the tickets for the full teaching portion of the conference were nearly 500 bucks a person. So I expected people to be really choosy about what classes they attended. And since I was speaking at the same time as much more well-known folks like Chris Schwartz and Roy Underhill and Mark Adams and Tom Fidgen, well, I expected my class to be pretty sparse, but we were overly full. Seriously, I think we had more people in our class than maybe even Chris and Roy had in the room next door, which was very exciting for me. We also spent a couple of days in our big booth on the showroom floor talking to people about homemade woodworking jigs and machines, sharing tips and tricks and all that good stuff. We had a lot of homemade machines there for people to check out. And Roy Underhill and I spent some time in front of an audience talking about the Woodwright Shop and answering questions about hand tool woodworking. So the conference, at least for me, can best be summed up as a year of intense preparation that culminated in two days of nerve-wracking public speaking and nausea, and maybe a little Kansas City barbecue. And I present you with this one-piece book stand, beautifully finished, and it says, for Stumpy of his nubness, may the grain be with you. So there you are, there you are. Around that same time, my book was released. It took a whole year to write this thing, which was also while we were preparing for Woodworking in America. So that's a big part of why you haven't seen as much of us, um, as much content online this past year, although we have had quite a bit of content. The book was published by FW Media, which is the company that publishes Popular Woodworking Magazine and some of the best woodworking books in the industry. Mine hit bookstores about a month ago, and at least from the indications that I've had so far, it's been a huge hit. Um, I haven't got figures on how the nationwide sales have gone, but I know that signing copies through our website, I signed 120 copies in the first week or two. So these are really going fast. I'm only going to sign 200 copies of the book. That's it. So if you want one, you better go over to stompynubs.com right away and get one. Uh, you can get it after that from bookstores all over from online. But if you want a signed copy, you have to get it at our website. And once they're gone, that's it. In the meantime, I've been working on a big table saw class for Popular Woodworking University, which is really going to be awesome too. Um, I think they're taking enrollments for that in the middle of next year, so you'll want to keep uh, checking out our website to be updated on that. But maybe the biggest news is the launch of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, and that's really what I wanted to talk to you about today. Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal is sort of like an online woodworking magazine except rather than being published every other month, like most woodworking magazines, it's going to be every other week. Of course, to publish that many issues each year will require a bit of a shorter journal than a typical woodworking magazine, which is why I'm calling it a journal. Plus, I don't want people to say we're trying to come up with our own woodworking magazine to compete with the big names out there. That's just not the case. I'm a huge fan with popular, of popular woodworking, of uh, Woodworkers Journal, um, Woodsmith, some of those others out there, and you really should be too. This is going to be something totally different. I suppose you could call it a newsletter, but I think that word really isn't big enough because this is going to be so much more than a typical newsletter. I don't know if it matters what you call it, actually, but I'm going with journal. Anyway, each issue will be divided into various sections, such as power tool woodworking, hand tool woodworking, 
homemade woodworking machines, woodworking news and tips, and there'll be a section just for fun. Each of these sections will include both video and articles that you can access right from the page. For example, you can read an article and then you can click on the video and watch it right there or enlarge it to full screen and then shrink back down all without leaving the journal. There will be project videos, lots of homemade woodworking machines and jigs, uh, woodworking tips and tricks, even a return of our behind the sawdust news videos and our old-timey woodworking hand tool content, which is something that at uh, Woodworking in America everybody was asking us about. We are bringing that back for this journal. Besides videos, we'll also have a lot of really informative articles. For example, we're working on one for the next issue that will be all about how to investigate and determine the date of a piece of furniture. Uh, we have a fantastic early shaker um, chest of drawers that we're going to examine. Uh, we have another one coming up about how old-timey woodworkers used carpenter squares to do all sorts of cool things. It's like a lost art. We'll have tool reviews, hand tool and power tool woodworking techniques. Some of it's going to be serious, but we'll also have the just for fun section, which will be more, well, fun. Each issue will be different with new projects, new videos, new articles, and I expect each section is going to grow over time to include even more content within that section. We'll even be including content submitted by other online woodworkers in the near future. So how do you get this online woodworking journal? You go over to stumpynubs.com and subscribe. That's all there is to it. It's free. We just need your email address so we can send you a link when each issue is released. And we're not going to send you any junk mail. We don't even share your email addresses with our sponsors. It's strictly for our use to send you a link when a new journal comes out. So please, take a minute right now. Pause this video. Open another tab in your browser and type in stumpynubs.com. Click on the link at the top of the page and it will take you to the subscribe section and tell you all about it. If you have already subscribed in the past to our newsletter, even if you haven't gotten one because it's been quite a while since we've sent one out, you don't have to subscribe again. You're automatically subscribed for this new journal. Of course, you also get another huge benefit if you subscribe you will automatically be entered into our tool giveaways. Now, as many of you know, we've already given away thousands of dollars in tools this year, and not junk either. I mean, this is good stuff. We gave away a Tormac sharpening system, um, a $400 Portomate uh, tool stand, Clearview and Trend and Rockler have given us all sorts of cool stuff to give away. And all you have to do is be one of our email subscribers. And you don't even have to enter for each giveaway individually. You just enter once or subscribe to the email list once and you're automatically entered into every drawing as long as you're on the list. Which brings me to our current giveaway. To help us launch Stumpy Nub's Woodworking Journal, the folks at Affinity Tools and Portermate are letting us give away one of their ultra high-end Portermate P254 router motors. It's three and a quarter horsepower, so you'll be able to use it on any router bits, even those great big old panel razors and any stock that you want to power through. I'm going to put a link in the show notes below so you can check out the product page and see all the details and features. But I can tell you that this is an awesome router. It's the same one I use in my shop, and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I just love this thing. They retail for $260, but we're going to be giving one away to someone on our email subscribers list in the very next issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, which comes out in like a week and a half. So if you aren't already a subscriber, go over there and subscribe now. We'll have a full review of this router in that next issue as well. So that's the big news today. Next week, we'll get back to the regular woodworking news here on our Behind the Sawdust videos and on our website. Let me know what you think about all the big changes in the comments below, and be sure to check out the sample issue of the new Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal over at stumpynubs.com. It's there for you to read right now. And please, Support our sponsors who are making this possible, especially Rockler and Trend and Tormac, Joburg's, Wynn, Clearview, and Sawstop. These folks are paying the bills so you can get this new journal for free. So if you could just thank them by just visiting one of their websites and looking around for just a minute, that would be awesome. These are relatively small companies with really nice people behind them. They've been very supportive of us, and I hope that you will support them in return. Then we can all sit back and have ourselves a cold one. Because you've earned it, my friend.